So I write a lot of code outside my nine to five as a software engineer. And over time, I've developed a process that helps me make it meaningful and get the most out of it. Let me break it down for you. The first thing I always do is establish why I'm writing the code. This step is so important because it sets the tone for how things will go. Without a clear reason, it's easy to lose focus or feel aimless. For me, my reasons typically fall into three main categories. Experimenting, trying out new ideas or exploring something I'm curious about. Learning, actively working to get better at a specific concept or a skill. And building projects, working on something tangible like an app or a tool. When I'm experimenting, I don't worry too much about the quality or the longevity of the code I'm writing. It's throwaway code and that's totally fine. The focus is on being curious, exploring ideas and allowing myself to move on without feeling guilty about not revisiting the code. When I'm learning new concepts on platforms like Code Crafters, I go in expecting things to be new and challenging. I always remind myself that it's part of the process. Not knowing everything is okay. The goal here is progress, not perfection. So I take breaks as needed and come back to things. When I'm working on projects, which is most of the time, I focus on breaking it down into manageable chunks. I tackle the project one feature at a time so it doesn't feel overwhelming. For example, I created an app called Uptill that helps you keep track of upcoming events. It's available on the App Store, so feel free to go check it out. Here's how I approached building that app. The first time I worked on Uptill, I only built the MVP. No extra features, nothing fancy, just the core functionality. Two years later, I decided to update the app again. This time, I focused solely on revamping the UI. That was it, no new features. Two years after the UI revamp, I'm back currently working on the project. My goals are to add testing because the code base is growing and introduce iOS home screen widgets. That's my approach. I scope out exactly what I want to accomplish before I start writing any code. This helps me stay focused and know when I'm done, which is very, very important. Breaking things down like this makes the whole process so much more manageable and enjoyable. You don't feel overwhelmed and you get the satisfaction of seeing steady progress. If you write code outside work, I would love to know how you handle that process to stay on top of things and not get bored. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, follow more codes for more programming videos like this.